Yikar Halayim La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and they bring the word and doctrine. Shalom, men in peace, men up into the elect of the nation of Israel. We're going to hit 2nd Ezra 16 and 40, a quick video. It says, O my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Now, this battle that we're fighting is going to be a spiritual battle, right? not a carnal battle. Now people are going to try and turn it carnal, yeah, but you have to maintain, you have to maintain, I'll say it like that. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, right? Because when, when all hell breaks loose, you're not going to have your common comforts, you know? So I'm, abstaining from certain things is profitable, you know, fasting, getting into that spirit. Because we're going to have to make a sacrifice. We already have to make a sacrifice. But we need to continue that and it's going to ramp up. Yeah, we're going to be tested. We're going to be tried. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Yeah, it's reasonable. Your body will be a living sacrifice. You know, so in the times we're going in, we need to magnify the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. We need to increase in faith, increase in strength. And when I say strength, I mean spiritual strength. Your faith. Your faith is what's going to be getting you through this. The wisdom and the knowledge. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thyself and the strength of let me start again. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right, so this faith is going to be the treasure. I'm sure there's a scripture in 2nd Ezra that says that. There is 2nd Ezra 6 and 5. And ere the present years were sought out, or ever, I think er goes into ever, or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. Right, and that is the true treasure. Oh, I'll put it wrong, that's why. This is Matthew 6 and 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right, so if you f your faith is your treasure, your heart's going to be in, in faith, meditating upon it. And meditating in the precepts. Second Ezra 16 and 40 again. O my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So I'll finish that in Ephesians. Ephesians 6 and 11, put on the whole armour of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the method day of the trickery, right, his cunning arts, his craft. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, so this is our battle, right? But them, the adversaries, you are not spiritual. Well, they're in the spirit of Satan, but they're not biblically spiritual. They're not spiritual on the right hand. Okay, so they're going to try to turn it carnal, but we have to do whatever we can to maintain. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, start 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Right, because we're seeing these things, these things that Yahweh said would come up that on the earth. They're coming, but they're only going to multiply. These evils are only going to increase. Right, and if we're of the elect, they're perceived by the world as evils. You know, that's our way out of here. We can't have one without the other. Just like the Kharagma. Although it's a wicked invention, yeah, we're waiting for it because we understand the order of prophecy. Right, we can't get out of here before the charagma is made manifest. 
I'm just really pushed out. Right now, let's look at the word pilgrim. Because you, what, what you have is in the Apocrypha, we don't have it on the Blue Letter Bible. So we can't go into the Greek or the Hebrew. Yeah, so we're taking the English word here. Pilgrim. See, 1200, pilgrim. A person traveling to a holy place as a penance or to discharge some vow or religious obligation or seeking some miracle or spiritual benefit. That will be the latter. Seeking some miracle or sp spiritual benefit. Yeah, so you can't get comfortable in any place. You need to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Because it's only going to get more uncomfortable. You know, and if you're practiced in that, you're exercised in that, you're building up the faith, you know, you're going to set yourself up in a better stead. And look what spiritual benefit or miracle you know, we look for. Isaiah 65. This isn't only it, but this is part of it. This is Isaiah 65, 13. Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. You know, and this is what we want to make ourself a part of, which really we didn't make ourself a part of it, the Lord did. This is John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me, draw him, and I'll raise him up at the last day. Right, so you always have to remember man's going to of the Lord. Yeah, Proverbs 16 and 9, Proverbs 20 and 24. Yeah, these are the precepts. It should give you comfort. So we need to so-called make ourselves a part of this. Second Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And it's faith how we get there. Romans 5 and 2. Let's start with 1. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace where we, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. Right, so faith is our is our password, man. And that's how we get in. Alright, next video, shalom.